Welcome back to Rob's Pods, guys. In today's video, we have new fish for the 300 gallon aquarium. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And let's get right into the video. So, we actually have had these fish for a little bit. They've been in QT, you know, I've just been monitoring them, you know, making sure today's also water change for these guys. So the tank's not gonna get much more dirty than this, but you could already see what I was about to start talking about. So the reason why I kept these guys in the aquarium by themselves and I didn't just throw them into a 300 gallon tank is because although I do trust AJ's husbandry and fish keeping, I wanted to also learn the species I was keeping. You know, the first round of the fish we got, the bigger abelio, the geophagus abelio, went straight into a 300 gallon tank because I knew they would be fine. But these smaller guys, I was a little bit worried about their size. You can see they're kind of small, they're almost small enough to be eaten by my big Oscar. My big Oscar is deceptively big. He doesn't look as big as he is on camera. But you could already tell some of these Venny are getting big. This big guy right here, you could see the reds coming through. These guys are going to be gorgeous when they're grown out. But I wanted to make sure they were eating and they were healthy. Now they've spent about two weeks in the QT tank, which is a relatively small window of quarantine. But They've been doing incredible. I've been feeding them three times a day and I think they are ready to be thrown in 300 gallon tank. I'm about to do a water change on this tank as well. So as soon as we finish the water change, we're going to be loading this tank up with those brand new fish for the 300 gallon tank. Before we do the water change though, we'll just talk real quick about the problems I'm having with the 300 gallon tank. None of the fish are getting harassed. Nobody's getting bothered. The silver dollar's a little stressed out because I just cleaned the glass. And you might be looking at the water and be like, Rob, the water quality is horrible. You come over here to the side, wow, silver dollar looking great. And you might be thinking, Rob, this water quality is horrific. And the reason why it actually looks like that is because the filter itself isn't working like it should. The filter socks down here are completely overflowed. They're not functioning like they should. So I need to replace all this sponge or at least clean the sponge so then I could get it crystal clear again. You guys will see after the water change how clean it gets. Um, I might also try to figure out like different ways to add additional purification. I'm also going to add something to the 300 gallon tank that'll add more surface area for bacteria to colonize. You already know we've got a ton of the stuff down here. Also the Salvini cichlid is also still down there. But I've actually got an entire jug of this matrix right here. So I've got this entire jug of media. We're going to be throwing in the 300 gallon tank as well just to let bacteria do its thing with that being said though guys i'm going to let the 300 gallon tank chill here for a second i'm going to finish doing my water changes on the discus and the umbi tank and then after we get the 300 gallon tank completely drained out i do big 90 percent water changes on the sump and the tank the tank itself after we do that guys i will show you us adding the geophagus into the 300 gallon tank it will be a full school of i believe 26 because the last straggler is on its way subscribe if you want to see what I'm talking about don't forget to turn on post notifications too because we're getting even more fish for the fish room you can see how much of a difference just turning off the filter can make because even with these fish you know frolicking around water is really clean it's just the sand kind of distorts the perspective it makes it look way dirtier than it actually is but I'm not gonna mess these with these guys any longer we got the sump filled up so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put siphon up here you guys know how to water change work and I'll show you guys when we're actually adding the geos in I'm gonna wait until the tank is completely full and hundred percent ready so I can add in all those little geophagus. The sump and the 300 gallon tank is now up and running. It's going to do what it's doing for a little bit. You know, I actually fill it up a lot more than what it's at right now. I just let it run for a little bit. But while that's happening, I'm going to be feeding the geophagus. The small guys in their tank for the last time. We've got their food right here, undisclosed, because nobody wants to sponsor me. <laughs> but we got a healthy handful of fish food right here. And I'm probably gonna put that return down if it's gonna continually do that. But these these guys are hyped up man these guys are always ready to get into some food you could see how chunky they are though and boom it does not take long for them to find the food and then after this guys we're going to have to do a complete water change after we get the geophagus out of here because there are new fish coming to the fish room very very soon but in the meantime these guys are gonna grub up I'm gonna go fix that overflow you know the return I'm gonna make sure it's not running the way it is and then we're going to be ready to add these guys into the 300 gallon tank the time has come to catch out the baby geophagus the 300 gallon tank turned off, but regardless, after we catch these guys, you'll be able to see them in the tank. I'm going to be waking up to a school of 26 geophagus, which is just absolutely insane. And they're all piled in the corner. Let's grab big man, or try to. Oh. 
Oh god, they're quick. <laughs> hey, right here. So hopefully, dude, I hope this isn't just like we're gonna trigger a feeding response because I'm putting them in the same lid I use for feeding. First, Abelio, he's joining the crew. And this should be a really smooth transition because the tank lights are off, so none of the fish are going to be able to see the new j is going into the tank. Well, they will, but you know, it won't be uh, that big of a deal. So we got the, one of the bigger Abelios out of the grow out. Boom. Yeah, look, he's almost, ex he's almost as big as the curtain geode. But you can see the size discrepancy between my big Oscar <laughs> and the geodes. It's uh, kind of worrisome, you know, it could go south. We might even like, I might even hold back some of the smaller geophagus just in case, you know. This way, this tank little grout isn't overstocked, but I've been trying to catch this one for a little bit. There we go. Now this guy, these guys are really small and it's kind of risky, kind of worrisome, but okay. It looks like they're just barely big enough. Not much, but barely. So I think we're going to throw them on the tank. I'm just going to do like a quick cut to literally catch in every single one of them. But I think even the smaller guys will be fine. Let's go. Boom. Yep. Easy transition. I think this is the big Zvenny. It's so risky every time, bro. But look, he's just... Barely big enough to be good with the Oscar, but you could tell Leopold thought about it for a second. I saw that. There was like a split second of hesitation where he's like, what are you, Jit? <laughs> Who are you? But luckily, like it's super, honestly, I'm kind of scared every time I drop them in. Almost got two, but I got the one. Another smaller just Benny, I believe. Boom. Easy. And all of these guys have been eating those pellets, the same pellets I've been feeding the bigger geos. So they'll be able to watch the big geos and get on all kinds of food. Boom. I'm gonna get this piece of driftwood up out of here. Two for one. Let's go. Looks like we got two of Belio, probably. Boom, boom. See, I, I, I didn't like that, Leopold. Don't do that to me. <laughs> oh, look at this bully. Just bullying his way. There's no food, smart guy. They're so food driven, those giraffe catfish. Ooh, here's that bit nice Venny. Oh, we might have gotten. Them. Yeah, I think this is that really nice Venny. I don't know though. Boom. There he goes. Yeah, that is the nice Venny right there. Sick. Oh wait, no, he's right here. I don't know who that was. Oh wow. <laughs> I just happened to catch the big guy. I was going for one of them, and then the second little dude just jumped right in front of him. Silly Abelio. Boom. Next to you, Figus. In with the crew. Look at these. Guys. Yeah. See, the nice Venny is still right here. Boom. Oh look, a little RTM that I put in here. Sick. All right, so we got four geophagus left. Oh, I almost got two. We'll stick with the one. This is probably his Venny as well. Yeah, this is the nice Venny, bro. Look at him. Still showing great color. Wow. He almost jumped out of the net, Loki. Boom, there we go. This tank, when all these guys are settled in, is gonna be beautiful, dude. But now we gotta get these last, so these last two, a belly or these might be too many. Don't really know. Boom. All right, last guy. That was easy. <laughs> he literally couldn't have made that any easier than he did. And he's in. There we go. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to let all those new fish we added into the 300-gallon tank settle into the tank and just let them hang out. And then what we'll do is tomorrow, I'll try to feed the entire crew. The bigger belly will know to come up to the top to come get food. So the little guys should follow suit. They have more than enough time to get comfortable, so I'll check in with you guys in the morning when we're feeding the 300-gallon aquarium. All right, guys, so it's the morning after adding in all those geophagus to the 300-gallon aquarium, and this is what we're looking like. So already to my left, you can see a monster school of geophagus. They're kind of just scattered all throughout the tank, but right here, we've got like 10 to 15 geophagus. We got one of the smaller abelios, another smaller zveni, and then the two top hoes, some bigger abelio, but you can see just how many of these guys are in here. It is they're literally everywhere now the tank is not as clean you know it did get a 90% water change basically almost 400 gallons and change of water but the problem is guys you know the clarity is always going to be bad because of the sand constantly getting kicked up because <laughs> giraffe catfish are very good at moving a lot of dirt 
the sand sifters are always going to be doing just that, sifting sand. You know, I, it's a learning curve. I gotta figure out how to cut back on it. But if we look at how the other fish have responded to adding the new fish, I mean, the Bubble Bee Oscar's looking great. The Silver Dollar's looking incredible. Everybody seems to be cool with it. Nobody seems to be bothered. We just have a massive school <laughs> geophagus in here. This tank is gonna be super busy. I don't think we're going to add many more fish to this tank, because guys, it is crazy. Ooh, the Zveni. This, some of the Zveni, oh wow. They are coloring up. They're so small, but they're still getting so much color. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna let them settle in some more, and then we're gonna feed the entire 300 gallon tank. It should be incredible. Guys, seriously, these Zveni, this one guy is just so fired up, man. That is incredible. Some of the little dudes in the back are fired up too, but look at him. Holy smokes, he's looking good. Wow, I, I wasn't gonna pick the camera up, but he just caught my eye. It's just so incredible how much color these little dudes have. Look, imagine when he's grown. If this is what he looks like right now, imagine when he grows out. To, wow, 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 wow. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. He just keeps flexing on us. We've got the entire portion of food right here, guys. It's a ton of shrimp, super finely minced shrimp, some bigger chunks for bigger fish, some pellets and mixed in there. And now it is time to feed the big 300. I'm hoping all the geophagus come shooting up. You can see the older abelio already know it's up. They know to come up to the top, but I don't know if the little guys do, but you can see the big abelio I have no issue coming up here. The bumblebees are down here. The datnoid even came out of hiding to go and get some food, and it seems like Oh, Geo's got a big piece. Severum's right here looking great. Oscar's getting in there. Little Geo in the back seems to be getting into it, but it does not. I don't know if the little guys have caught on yet. They've only really been eating pellets for the most part. They don't really, uh, oh, I see one in the back eating. Oh, that, no, I just got some. I saw a couple in the back actually eating some shrimp, but they haven't really been onto the shrimp as much. They're not as big of fans of the shrimp as they are of pellets, but the jag, the giraffe cats, you can see how fast they clean up. Redhead top hose, all the geophagus honestly are looking great. And it seems like everybody's gotten a fill. I could see little small guys in the back actually chewing on stuff. But we've got a second round just in case. We'll get some more pellets on here as well. This should be enough pellets for these guys. This should be good. Over time, you know, the same thing happened with the bigger geos where it just took them a little bit of time to adjust. You know, it's a big change going from, you know, all these tanks, but you could see how small some of these pieces are. You could see the squad of geophagus coming out to check it out. They haven't got through the shrimp they started eating, but the little guys should be getting around to it. But you can see just how many geophagus we have in here. Guy's mouth full of food. Silver dollars looking good. Ton of pellets. So, okay, this should be more than enough for the little guys. Yeah, I see one of the little guys in the back behind Leopold eating. Yeah, guys, we should be a-okay. Some of this Venny are over here. Yeah, some of this Venny are right here. Look, he's going to pick up this pellet or not. Not cool enough. Okay, but... Some of these guys have full mouths, those smaller guys, so I think they're adjusting A-OK. -okay. And this is the 300 gallon tank after the day of water change. Wow, look at him, he's gorgeous. But the sand is definitely not as bad today as it was. The new sponges definitely did clean up a good bit, but regardless, the little geophagus are doing well. Everybody else is eating pretty good. This guy up here is flexing on everybody, but that is a lot of food. They should get around to it. There's plenty of food to eat in here. And that is it for today's video, guys. If you want to see more updates on the 300 gallon tank, like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any updates. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.